Okay. My light's not working in my truck right now. But, uh, I got 11 stops. 1,100 cases. Uh, I'm, with, I'm with somebody today. Let's do real quick. Right now it's 1015. And uh, we're going to get started. Today's Friday. I'm off tomorrow. I'm actually off for the next three nights. So hopefully everything goes well. But uh, next week I work four nights in a row. So. That should be fun. But yeah, we're gonna get started on this and get going. got to make sure your lift gate is working every time you come out here you go to your first stop and you didn't check and it's not working then that's gonna be a bitch always make sure you're lifting okay found something that's unfortunate we have so this no is it this one yeah that one and this one our stop two those two are for here our stop two is Applebee's, but it's too early to deliver. Since there's two of us, we got done quicker. So that means that uh, we can't deliver to the Applebee's. There's too many people in there and the manager's not gonna let us deliver. So now we have to move those two pallets every time we do a stop until it gets later, until we can go back and deliver. So that's one of those things that kind of sucks sometimes when you can't deliver at certain places because it's too early or the manager says you can't uh, deliver there. So I gotta go around all these pallets just to get the right ones. Okay, we're at stop seven at Five Guys. It's about five. Five Guys doesn't have freezers, so all this stuff goes in the cooler. None of this stuff is frozen. So all you people out there who are Five Guys know that they don't, they don't freeze their food. No frozen patties, no nothing. Um, but yeah, we're at stop seven. We're actually running through the night pretty quickly. It's uh, three o'clock and we have four more stops left. So we're running through it pretty quickly. Now sometimes you can, uh, some stores you can actually pull the, the pallet all the way through. Um, all through the door. Sometimes you gotta find stuff to uh, use to open the door. But well, anyway, you can uh, open some open the doors just like this, so that the pallet can go just right through. And then we bring the pallet in here. It's nice and air conditioned in here. So, not in the hot sun. Or in the heat, I mean, not the hot sun. I'm at uh, Jamba Juice right now. About to open up Jamba Juice. And let's see. It's a little dark. Find the lights.
Sometimes it's too dark. You have to find lights. There you go. Found the light. So this jumbo juice, they have a huge fridge for this one. Not all, not all of them are like that. Just this one. Um, but the bad things about some of the stores, some of the Jamba Juices, is they don't have a fridge to put stuff in. So you have to actually take stuff out and put it away in here and in here. So, that's, that's a huge freezer but a small fridge. So you gotta put it, every piece of things away. You can't just drop it in there. You have to actually put it on the shelves and stuff like that. So and get this one started. We're at stop eight. And uh, we're in Scottsdale right now. And we got three more after this. Um I just noticed my reefer's not working. I don't know if you can hear me. But my reefer's not working. This is like blowing just regular air. And then this side's supposed to be blowing cold air. But my ice cream is like super squishy. So that's really weird. And it doesn't even feel cold on this side. I don't know what's going on. But uh when that happens you gotta be careful with the ice cream. The ice cream is a bitch because it just spills and drips everywhere. If it, if it's too uh if it gets too warm. This it's not cold in here at all. So we gotta deal with that. But uh We'll figure it out. Okay, I'm at stop uh, eight Popeyes. So we have these two pallets. These are stop two, and this is stop two. Like I said before, stop two we couldn't uh, deliver because there's it was too busy, and the manager wouldn't let us deliver there. So I've been kind of working around it. I'm gonna show you some stuff that we that I do to make some room. I already took the dividers out. All the dividers are lined up here. So we can finally put these here. And these trucks have enough space to um, move all the way around. So you guys can just watch what I do.
Okay, I'm back at the yard, 708. Just finished my shift. That was about nine hours. It took about nine hours to finish it. Um, it was an easy one. We just had that one problem with not being able to deliver our second stop. So we had to move around that stop. I'm gonna show you guys. This is our freezer side in our warehouse. It is crazy. Yeah, crazy. That's all the shit we have in our warehouse. It's so cold here. <laughs> this is like our return area where we put everything that we didn't deliver. But yeah, this is the frozen side of our of our uh, freezer side of our warehouse, and it is fucking cold. It's like minus ten in here or something like that. But yeah. Uh, oof. It was a good night. It was a good night. I had uh, it was five days this week. Next week I work four nights. I'm off tonight, and then I don't go back. I don't come back until uh. Oh, sorry. Make this little fun. There you go. <laughs> I don't come back until. Uh, Tuesday night. So I have Saturday night off, Sunday night off, Monday night. So I have three nights off. So I'm happy about that. Um, I took some time off. That's why I'm off those days. Um, but um, I'll have like nine days. Nine days on this pay period. So it should be a good check next week. And I'll show you guys what that check looks like next week. But, um, yeah. Now I'm on my way home. Um, I'm going to send out a video on Sunday. I want to show you guys something. But uh, that's pretty much it, man. It's my week. It was, was alright week. Next week I'm going to myself. So. That should be fun. So, uh, yeah. <laughs>